In today's video, we take a look at our brand new custom set wave. With over 10 exclusive minifigures and 3 all new sets, this one is going to be awesome. So please, sit back, relax and enjoy as we take a look at 3 custom Lego sets based on HBO Max's Peacemaker. Hey everyone, it's Buzz here and I'm so glad to finally be back making more videos for you guys. I've been super busy as always and as you can imagine, these videos take a while to make. With that being said, we're finally taking a look at my custom Lego Peacemaker wave. This video was meant to come out last week but I decided it was best to wait for Peacemaker to be available in more countries before posting this. Before we start, I'd just like to thank the person who collaborated on this project with me, Snomnom. Snom is a fantastic Lego artist on Instagram who helped design some of the minifigures and builds. As well as a huge thank you to Brick Cucumber, who designed the Eagly figure you'll see later in the video. With that out of the way, let's take a look at our first set based on the show. Set 76004, Peacemaker Accessory Pack. This set includes 4 minifigures and 57 pieces and would retail for roughly $15. Speaking of minifigures, let's take a look at some right now. For the first minifigure, we of course have Christopher Smith, aka The Peacemaker. This minifigure was designed by me and is overall a real step up from my first iteration of the character. This figure features a brand new helmet mold with printing. He uses dual molded arms and legs and also features his weird pistol. The figure also comes with a hairpiece so you can just have a plain John Cena look underneath. Overall, I'm super proud of this guy and we will actually be printing him this year as a custom figure for you guys to purchase. Next, onto Peacemaker's kinda best friend, we have Vigilante. This is one of the many figures designed by Snom and I think she did great. This figure features printing all around including the arms and legs and also comes with an alternative head and hair piece so you can have Vigilante's alternative ego, Adrian Chase. Adrian has two facial expressions being a goofy smile, as well as a laughing face. For his accessory, he comes with a chainsaw. Snom really did a fantastic job with Vigilante, and I'm super proud of how it turned out. If you've seen the show, or have just been on the internet at all in the last few weeks, you know that the Justice League show up in the finale. So we really wanted to include them somewhere in the sets, and the accessory pack was the best spot. So first up, we have Aquaman. This figure was designed by Snom and they did a fantastic job with it. The figure is based on Aquaman's main suit from his movie and it's packed with details, coming with his trident and printing all over. For the last of the Justice League, we have Ezra Miller's Flash, who was just as amazing as always in the finale. This figure was also designed by Snom and so it's much better than my version from last year. This figure has brand new printing all around, even on the arms, all in a base of dark red. Flash comes with two new facial expressions, one being a smirk and the other being an open smile. Finally, of course, we have Eagly. This was designed by the talented Brick Cucumber, who really brought the character to life in an incredible way. The bird is made up of three pieces, meaning the wings are movable. This is seriously my favourite inclusion of the series and I can't thank Brick Cucumber enough for allowing us to use it. And for the build we have a very basic table that has Peacemaker's helmet and pistol on display. This of course was seen in Augie Smith's closet and is just a little extra inclusion so that you have a place to put your accessories. Now moving on into our main sets we have set 76003, Butterfly Forest Attack. This set includes 4 minifigures and has 205 pieces. It would retail for roughly $25. For the first figure of this set, we have Amelia Harcourt, played by Jennifer Holland and designed by Snom. She's a pretty plain figure for a straightforward character. She uses Lloyd's hair and tan and comes with a new jacket print, as well as a new head print. She also features a pistol. Next up we have John Economos aka Diebeard. He was one of my personal favourite figures to design as I really love his character. He's a very simplistic design but it works really well in my opinion. He's a brand new torso print as well as a shocked face print and comes with his computer. And finally for this set we have Detective Sophie Song, who's possessed by Goth the butterfly in this scene. This figure was also designed by Snom. 
She has a brand new torso print as well as an alternate facial expression. She comes with a pistol as an accessory. I think Storm did a really great job with this one. What do you guys think? The set also comes with Peacemaker and Eagly, but we've already seen those figures, so there's no need to go over them again. Now moving into our build for this set, we have Economos' van. Although this didn't appear in the finale, we decided it had more relevance to the plot than the van in the finale, so we included it here. It can fit up to three minifigures inside and has a print outside the van for ecstatic electrical. And yes, that is an Among Us reference. The back door opens so you can pose characters exiting the van. The next build we have is a small tree with a target on it. This is actually the same tree from my Spider-Man No Way Home wave, so technically this is set in the MCU. Anyways, there's two small fences so that you can have a character hide for cover. There's also a boombox so you can rock out while murdering some butterflies. And the final build of this set is a catapult operated by Eagly. I find this really funny as you don't know what the brown stuff is that he's throwing. Yeah. This is just a fun inclusion to add another play feature to the set. And now let's move into our final set. We have set 76002, Judo Master Face Off. This set includes 5 minifigures and 293 pieces. This would probably retail for $30 to $40. For the first minifigure of this set, we have Leota Adebayo. This minifig was designed by both me and Snom. She features mid legs as well as a new torso print and head print. Her accessory is a VHS tape from the video store and she uses Dana Barrett's hair in black. The next minifigure we have is Clemson Mern. Mern was one of the most interesting characters in the show and it was kind of a shame when they killed him off. Designing Mern was pretty easy as he has a very simplistic attire, being just a jacket and some pants. Mern also has a brand new face print as well as coming with a phone. For the final figure of this set, we have Judo Master. This character was a great side antagonist and I love how he was assumed dead multiple times during the show and just managed to survive until the end. This figure uses mid legs and a Ninjago armor piece as well as the Captain America helmet in sand green. This figure has a brand new torso as well as a brand new face print also coming with double molded arms. The set does also come with Peacemaker, Eagly, and Vigilante, but we've obviously already seen those figures, so we don't need to see them again. For the first build of the set, we actually have a, the main vehicle of the set, being the Peacemobile. Yeah, I don't know, honestly. This was just a funny gag we included, as LEGO typically has random themed vehicles for their superhero characters. Peacemaker also comes with a shield in the set, and it can be attached to his bike. Of course, if we have a vehicle, we need a traffic light. This was inspired by the one in that old Hobgoblin set, but it's perfect for this small model. The street sign is actually an inside reference to Snom, which is actually the Pokedex number for Snom, the Pokemon. Now let's move on over into the video store, which is very clearly inspired by the Spider-Man Homecoming bank robbery set, but as you'll see, we have completely changed it. The exterior, we of course have a small vending machine so you can get a cool drink. Attached to the side of the building is a dumpster that you can have Vigilante hide behind and investigate. There's a bunch of sale stickers in the window as the building is seemingly empty, as well as a nifty little reference down the alleyway to the 11th Street Kids, being the song the gang sing on their way back from the mission, as well as the name of their group chat. Now moving on into our interior, it's pretty small but it's packed with detail, including a bunch of pizza boxes, a stand with some VHS tapes, as well as a PowerPoint TV where Dye Beard explained what the butterflies are. Also included as side bills, is a small piano for Peacemaker to play his cover of Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue, as well as a table for your characters to research on and sit around. That's a wrap on all of the builds and minifigures, now let's take a look at the final product, but before we do, I'd just like to ask you to please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. We're getting close to 18,000 subscribers and I really need your help. So with that being said, please enjoy. Here we have all three sets. Here we have the box art. These took forever to make, especially the air on the side of them. Of course, we have the only mainstay on this channel being the Lego Shop at Home images. Here's one last look at most of the minifigures. And here's the two promotional images you might have seen on our community tab or on my Instagram. And of course, one last huge thank you to Brick Cucumber and especially Snom. 
They both make amazing stuff on their Instagrams. I'll leave them both in the pinned comment and the description if you want to check them out. Next week, we will finally be taking a look at my Eternals figures. These have been in the works since November. I've just never really gotten time to finish them. And then after that, we will be taking a look at the Batman as well as Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Until then, I've been Buzz and you, my friend, have been amazing. I'll see you guys in the next video and goodbye.